I have made over $50,000 in profit without taking a single trade, but instead leveraging a powerful algorithm that trades on my behalf. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I help over 180 of my clients implement the same system that allows me to earn between 0.25 to 1.5% a day completely hands off without taking a single trade and the best part without any trading experience. That being said, let's get started. All right, so following the systematic approach, as you guys must know, the first step is finding a crypto coin, right? So here we have many options. We have Bitscap, the tester performance, or sorry, Bitscap recommendations. We have Trading View, so that is the crypto per screener. We also have Coin Market Cap. Yeah. We have exchanges. So the one that I have been using the most is Trading View. Um, it just works very, very well. It's a proven method. So that is the one that I'm gonna advise you to use. It's very straightforward. We need to have this set up. So we're gonna have the three types of volatility. We're gonna have overall volatility, monthly volatility, and volatility week. Then if we click on filters, we need to have the BitGet, RSI, that is optional, but I like to keep it because it's gonna show you cryptocurrencies that are not overbought. So it should be below 53. Quote, currency USDT. And then the other thing is also 24 hours in USDT. So what is this? This volume 24 hours in USD is basically the traded volume of the cryptocurrency. So for example, um, okay, we have quite a lot of people. Perfect. All right. So what is the 24 hour USD? Basically is if we want to start getting higher quality cryptocurrencies, then we have to increase this, right? Because um, think about in terms of coin market of market cap, the higher the market cap, the more traded a cryptocurrency is. So if you notice the quality is bad, you know, there are only meme coins and stuff like that, then all you have to do is increase this. And you can see how right now we have 662 matches, but as I'm increasing this, we'll see 202, uh, 188. And if I set it up to 10 million, I only have 34. And you will also notice these cryptos that are being displayed right now, they easily have over over 10 they have over 10 million in over 50 million in market cap so we have xrp bgb saga mu ray all of these coins will have a high market cap but also take into consideration the higher the market cap the less volatile a crypto coin is going to be so there is that risk versus reward so in this case i'm just gonna set it up with 1 million all right, so now we're gonna start filtering from the highest volatility to the lowest. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, no, you can use the six-hour time frame. That one is good, right? Especially when you are look when you're analyzing a coin from the beginning, it's good that you look at in the six-hour time frame. Of course, you don't want to get into something that has been trading for like a very very short time because there is not predictability on that. So, and usually those coins will be the first coins that you will find this one no it's not good so yeah we're just gonna scan through these okay this one looks interesting a lot All right i like this one has been trading for oh since july 2022 so over over two years uh, right now another thing you have to look into when you are looking for a cryptocurrency is that it's not at the top right so it shouldn't be somewhere around here right now this crypto is here so and it has been sideways for about 130 days or so so that is those are very very good signs and you can immediately tell as soon as you look at the cryptocurrency right not been at the top has been trading for over 90 days it has agreed a decent volatility you can use the cba 2.0 indicator to identify volatility it says moderate volatility and if we take a closer look we're gonna see that the emas are kind of like getting along to each other so that that's also a good thing so what else do we do if we come to coin market cup we're gonna type the cryptocurrency and we're gonna check it out so what do we see here it has a market cap of 
48 million um, is not the highest, is not the lowest either. Not fully, fully recommended, but let's understand what is it about. Okay, good. It's not like a meme coin. Um, another thing we saw is that it has been actually it, it has actually been trading for over three years. From the all-time high is 99% low. From the all-time low is 6,000% high. Um, it comes down to just making sure that the cryptocurrency is not close to the, to the top, right? That that is really what you should be looking into. Yeah, and of course, <clears throat> you have to make sure that the trading time is there. So one of the rules we talk about is making sure the cryptocurrency has been trading for at least six months. That is general advice. Uh, if it is a solid project, then fair enough, you could do it. But this one looks pretty solid in the trading time. Like I said, market cap is not the best. It could be better, but it does compensate it because of the trading time it has and also because of the purpose. All right. <clears throat> so what are we going to do next? So we found the coin. Now we need to come, we need to have confirmations and we have many confirmations. One of them being the timing, making sure the timing is there. What is the other one? We have also on. Um, yeah, these are the two main things we should be looking into. Of course, you can add like purpose of the coin and value, which shall, we already covered this. We check the trading time as well. That's good. Now let's check profitability of the coin. And how you're going to do that is by using the CBA read back tester, right? This is how you, we're going to get it done. So what are we going to be back testing on in the first place? We are going to back test the sideways movement because that is what we care about, right? If the market goes up, amazing. That is a plus, but we're going to be back testing the sideways movement, 125 days of trading. That is the data we're going to have 125 days we can take it even further by back testing um, some of the drop as well because we can see a drop of about 60 percent or so so we're going to have those two back testers we're going to have sideways sideways and we're also going to have a downtrend plus sideways perfect and then we're just going to input the information right here Right, just to figure out. So first, we have to define the grid range. Well, what is the grid range? Is the price action percentage? How much, like what percentage the grid bot is going to cover? That is highly going to depend on the coin and its volatility. But an easy way to figure that out is by measuring from the top to the bottom, something like this, right? So so we have those three bullet, uh, grid ranges, 22%, 54%, and 76% and we can decide which one we want to do. Always remember the goal when it comes to setting up bots uh, is for long term. If you decide to set up your bot for short term because the profits look better, that is at your own risk because bots are meant to be for short term. Uh, sorry, for long term, right? not for short term. So I'm going to discard this one and I'm going to be back testing between these two. So we're going to back test 76 and 54 percent grid range so what are we going to do is we're going to backtest the sideways movement first gather data and then we're going to backtest the sideways plot plus the downtrend first we're going to backtest with a 50 percent grid range so we're going to come from i'm going to turn off this indicator so it's cleaner i'm going to backtest from the beginning of the sideways movement, which was 26th of 20, 26th of June. I'm going to set up a 50% grid range. Then I'm going to go to the CBA grid back tester, I gather this data, right? Paste it. Now notice how, notice how my uh, high price is fairly close to the candles. And that is because we have to follow the smart launch strategy, right? That is why I set it up this way. It's not like this, right? It's like this. It's fairly close to the market price. All right. So what do we do next? We're going to click on indicator. Once this is set up, we're going to um, set up the start date, 26th of June. Read levels. We can backtest 40, 50, 60, 70. 
it doesn't really make sense to backtest with more than 70 grid levels because the profit is going to be so small or, or that the fees are pretty much going to gain or are going to take over the profit. Make sure trailing app is on. Click OK. Go to a smaller time frame, extremely important, and turn on the indicator. Uh, sorry, there we go. Turn on the indicator. Now we gather data. So what do we see? <clears throat> First, actually, guys, before we continue, let's forget about the data for now. Let's forget about this and let's look at this. What, what do we see? We notice how a lot of these, well, the first thing we can notice is that the first thing we can notice is that the price is out of grid. Therefore, we should be setting up this spot with a higher grid range. So we're going to do that. Also, a lot of the orders are on, on red, meaning they are active. So we have to make our grid range bigger. Oh, there we go. Maybe let's do it at a 65%. That looks better. All right. So we're going to actually be back testing with 65 grid range. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to start increasing this. So with 40 grid levels and a 65% grid range, we're getting 80, 65% bot profit and 7% PNL. Let's see if we increase this to 50 and we get any better results. All right, about the same, it's to 60. You see, we jump from 7% to 12%. So that's better. There we go. So it looks like 60 is the one, isn't it? Now, what we can do is we can increase it slowly. All right, so we're going to increase it just like this. See what brings us the highest result. Let's see this one. Yeah, <clears throat> looks like 62 is the one that is going to make it. Our bot profit is very high, 55%. That's good. It means that it's almost paid off. The bot is pretty much paid off. Um, if you can, go to the 30-minute time frame. That is... No, in this case, it's not. Yeah, one hour is probably the best one. There we go. Okay, so this is how you do it. Now we can do the same, but by testing the, with a drop in the market. So let's see. Okay, <clears throat> so 12% PNL, 81% bot profit, 0.07% a day, and 162 days. Um that is pretty solid taking into consideration we are calculating about a 50 percent drop in the market and i'm not even back testing this whole sideways because if we could have back tested from here the bot profit could be pretty much 100 percent so now if you like this if this is what you want amazing set it up all you have to do is literally come to bitscap start a new bot read bot search the cryptocurrency Set up the investment, um, back test it with these settings. So what do we have? 61% grid range and 50 grid levels. So following the smart launch, we're going to set that up. 61. Remember to always follow the smart launch. So 60. There we go. 61. We're going to readjust this and then manual adjustment and change this to 15. Okay. Why 50? Well, because we backtested, taking into consideration a downtrend, and these settings are proven to be in a positive PL. Guys, if you follow this, there is no way for you to, to lose money. Yes, there might be times where your PL is going to be negative. That's completely normal. It happens to everyone. As long as your bot is within the grid, yeah, and as long as your uh, <clears throat> average daily profit is positive, you won't lose. It's literally impossible for you to lose. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, trailing up on, on protection on, uh, no stop loss, no take profit. Continue and start the bot. All right, guys, so if you made it this far, it means you're actually serious about making a great return every single month. If that's the case and you need a specific roadmap as well as one help as you're going through this, then down in the description down below, as well as in the comments, there is going to be a link. You can click on it and apply for CBA. Full transparency, it's going to be a discovery call where me or somebody of my team will get to know you better and see if you are a good fit for CVA and we can even help in the first place. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.